Hello, I'm Becca Peters. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and a teacher of meditation, mindfulness, and compassion. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about stress. What is the role stress plays in our lives, how we can combat stress, and a few techniques that we can use in our daily life. But first, let's begin with the practice. I invite you to close your eyes, stop whatever you're doing, take a breath, observe how you're feeling, what's going on in your mind, is it busy, calm? Noticing any areas of tension or stress or maybe even ease. Noticing what's going on in your mind. Do you feel distracted? Are you somewhere else thinking about the past or the future? And how are you feeling emotionally? And now I'd like to invite you to consider what kind of an attitude or a mindset that would be very supportive of yourself to move into the next moment. So for example, if you're noticing stress or overwhelm, maybe you could just say, may I be gentle and more at ease in the next few moments, relaxing the body, And then opening your eyes and we'll proceed. So the practice that I just walked you through is a mindfulness practice and the acronym is STOP, S-T-O-P. The S stands for stopping whatever we're doing. The T indicates taking a breath or more than one if you need. The O invites us to observe what we're feeling in our bodies, our emotions, our minds. And then before we move on to the P, which is proceed, we have a gap. We have a gap and an opportunity to choose how do I want to show up in my next moment. So that's a practice that you can do that can take 30 seconds. You can do it anywhere. And the more we start to practice these kinds of mindful moments, we string together sooner or later mindful days, mindful months and years. So let's talk a little bit more about stress. Stress in and of itself is not a bad thing. Actually, short-term stress, small doses of stress can be a healthy motivator for behavior change, lifestyle change, just a motivation in general. However, long-term chronic stress does the opposite. It creates inflammation in our bodies, causes us to be in the fight or flight mode all of the time, activating our sympathetic nervous system. And when those systems of fight or flight are in activation, they're signaling to all aspects of our body that we are in danger. When in fact, we may not be, but that's what it feels like. This is a very primitive fight or flight response that we are all wired with. As a matter of fact, science tells us that we are wired for survival and not for happiness. So what do we do about that? We need to counteract that by creating moments of positivity and understanding the neurology of our brain and why it does what it does. So let me walk you through very briefly a bit of science around stress. We all have what's called a default mode network. It's a region of our brain that runs midline front to back and back to front. It is there for several reasons. To help us create a sense of self and to keep us safe. However, what it's doing from a very primitive level is it is scanning past and future back and forth. It's recalling any moments we've had in the past that we've been in danger or where something has gone wrong, and it's trying to keep us safe, and so it's projecting into the future. So I'm sure many of you felt like I have, our mind is ping-ponging back and forth, back and forth a lot of the times. That's just your default mode network. Again, we all have it.
However, what we know is with mindfulness meditation, it's been one of the only things that's been shown to actually deactivate that upregulated network. So in other words, how many of you have had an experience where you get into the bathtub or the shower or you lie down for a nap and your mind goes wild? You can't relax, you're worrying, you're stressing. Next time this happens, I want you to remind yourself instead of beating yourself up, that that's what the human brain does. However, mindfulness meditation will allow that to calm down so we catch it sooner whenever that kind of hyper arousal begins. So again, stress in and of itself is not bad, but long-term chronic stress sure can be detrimental for our health and well-being. Let's practice together. I'd like to guide you through what's called a three-center check-in. This particular practice was created to use in a business environment, and I find it incredibly helpful, whether at home, at business, it's very accessible to us. I'm going to guide you through the practice now. Taking your seat, finding an upright spine, and sometimes we need to twist and move around a little bit to find that upright spine. So whatever you need to do, mindfulness really is about taking care of yourself. So whatever that means for you in this moment, eventually finding a still body, relaxing the belly, allowing the shoulder blades to fall down the back. Choosing a comfortable posture for your hands where you can hold them and not fidget. Oh, take a few deep breaths, allowing eyes to close or let your gaze rest gently at the floor in front of you. And taking a few deep breaths, allowing yourself to slow down. One of the antidotes to stress is slowing down, keeping things simple. And keeping the eyes closed, we will begin to check in with three different centers in the body and I will guide you. So if you can bring your attention now to your headspace. Oftentimes we try to avoid our minds, they seem busy. In this particular example, I'd like to have you bring your attention there. And just notice whatever you're noticing. Do you feel busy? Maybe there are certain themes that are on your mind for just noticing, observing without any kind of judgment. You can imagine as you inhale, you can inhale spaciousness in your mind and just simply observe whatever, whatever's on your mind in this moment. And then letting go of any focus of what's on the mind, taking another deep cleansing breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Ah, releasing whatever it was that you were noticing on the mind. And bringing your attention now to your belly. Again, if it feels comfortable, you're always welcome to bring one or both hands to your belly. Why do we do that sometimes? Well, self-touch is one of the fastest ways to calm down and regulate our emotions, to calm down our central nervous system. It's a reminder to us to bring loving attention to our experience. We are a person having an experience and allowing ourselves to receive our own care. It's a great antidote to stress. So while your attention is resting here on the belly, this becomes an opportunity to check in with what's called the body center. So I'd like you to gently scan your body. Noticing any areas where you might be holding any tension. Noticing any areas that might feel pleasant even or neutral. You might notice fatigue or maybe energized. Just lovingly Scan the body. 
Taking a moment here before we move on from the body center to offer yourself gratitude. Thanking the body for all that it does throughout the day for you. There's so many systems working at the same time. So taking this sweet moment to offer your body gratitude. And then taking another deep cleansing breath on that exhale, letting go of anything that you recognized or noticed as you scanned your body. And we'll move our attention now as if you're walking up a set of stairs to the third and final center, which is the heart space, the emotional center, the emotional body. So I like to imagine sometimes that it's, there's a little door and you can gently open the door and peek in to notice what emotions am I feeling? Many of us feel more than one emotion at a time. And rather than going into a story or going into a narrative about why the emotion is there, let's just practice noticing what you're feeling. Again, allowing the inhale to create a sense of spaciousness in your chest and heart space. Maintaining a mindful attitude, which is I'm practicing being with myself just as I am. No need to fix or solve. So spending another few moments noticing your emotions. I'm going to ring the bowl. I'd like you to take another deep breath. Exhale, releasing anything that you'd like to from whatever it is you just observed. Releasing doesn't necessarily mean letting go, but rather it means letting be. Are we able to practice being with ourselves just as we are? So turning your attention to sound as you listen for the ringing. On your next exhale, if you haven't already, allowing your eyes to gently open. And just noticing how you're feeling. The three center check-in is one way that we can bring ourselves in attunement with our minds, our hearts, and our bodies. And it's a way that we can work with stress we can signal to our physiological and emotional and psychological systems that we are safe. We are not being chased by tigers as we were in primitive times, but that we're safe and we're available to take the best care of ourselves in times of stress. <laughs> 